Hello everyone, this is Ashley Rader with your Blog Genesis Blogging Quick Tip. In today's Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to remove referral spam from your Google Analytics dashboard. So if you have Google Analytics installed on your site, which I hope that you do, you've probably seen something that looks like this. Google Analytics dashboard with referrals coming from sites like floatingsharebuttons.com, floatingsharebuttons.com, forwebmasters.org. You probably will see sites like Seamalt, $100 SEO, eventtracking.com. These are all referral spammers. And just to kind of go into a little bit of a brief background about referral spammers, there's, there's basically two kinds. There are ghost referral spammers, and these are the sites like floating share buttons, webmonetizer.net. And what they're doing is they are faking traffic to your site and sending data directly to your Google Analytics dashboard without ever having actually hit your site. They do it through the HTTP protocol. And they can, it basically, it's kind of a bug within Google Analytics that it allows this data to be sent. But so far, Google has not figured out a way to fix this. And basically, they can put whatever URL they want as the referrer and sends refer spam to your Google Analytics account, which basically fakes out your traffic data. These are not actual hits to your website. So you may find if you've ever Googled, you know, how to eliminate this kind of spam, there may be, you may have found websites that suggest putting specific code into your HT access file or adding something to the header of your website. And the problem with that is that much of this traffic is not ever actually hitting your site. It's, it's being faked through the HTTP protocol and going directly into your Google Analytics. So by blocking it with, with um, code and files on your own website, it's not going to filter out all of this. When it comes to these ghost referrers, you may wonder why are they doing this? Why would somebody do this? Well, there's a couple of different reasons here. First of all, they want their name to show up in your analytics. So you go, oh, floating share buttons, who is that? And you click over to their site. It's sending them more traffic. What happens with some of these sites is they're actually sending you to malware pages. So in some cases, it actually is malicious. So you could have a website or a, a program set to spam out referral spam, leading people to malware pages so that you go and you and you visit a link and it downloads some spam on your computer or downloads malware on your computer that then has access maybe to credit card information if you're entering any of that in. So that's a malicious case of these ghost referrers. There are a lot of kind of malicious ways that this ghost spam can be used for either really annoying reasons or actually malicious reasons. So it's just important we get this out of your analytics dashboard. So that's one problem. The other problem is there are spammy bots on the web. One of, one of the big offenders right now is Seamalt, S-E-M-A-L-T. If you've seen that on your analytics, that is another super spammy uh, bot. That one does actually hit your website. And the intent is to crawl your website, but they're not uh, declaring themselves as a bot. So when in Google Analytics, they have a feature that is set to filter bot activity out of your analytics. Bot activity, bots are, they can be good and bad. So Google has bots and they're basically, it's basically code that goes out and crawls your website. And that's how Google knows what the content on your page is about. So, so bots aren't bad. In, in general, there are a lot of bots that are good and they're, and they're there for a reason. Um, you can't get your website ranked on Google without bots. That's how Google knows what your page is all about. But there are also bad bots or spammy bots that, that basically fill up your Google Analytics with irrelevant or incorrect data. And Seamalt is one of those. Um, so far, they, they are not um, malicious in the sense of you know, harming your site, but they're harming your analytics data by making it inaccurate. So if you're seeing a lot of hits coming through from Seamalt, those aren't actual web traffic visitors. Those aren't actually people that are coming to your site. 
And in most cases, those kind of bots have, they, they hit your site and bounce off of it immediately. So it's also bringing up your bounce rates. So there are a lot of reasons why we want to filter all of these bots and these ghost referrers off of our analytics site so we can get an accurate picture of how much traffic is legitimately coming to our website. So what I'm going to show you today is really the best way right now to um, eliminate these these spammy type of sites from compromising our analytics data. So here we are on the analytics dashboard for the crave.com and this site is about two months old and so far I have not gone in and filtered out the referral spam so we're gonna do that today. And here we are on the page if you click on your Google Analytics site to acquisition, all traffic, and then channels the primary one is this referral link and I'm going to go in there right now and you'll see right now Huffington Post is our primary referral but if you scroll down here a little bit you'll see some of these referrals that refers that have kind of random names like like we shouldn't be it's a, a food blog there's no reason for us to be getting traffic from a website about for webmasters. Uh, this floating share buttons.com. All of these are ghost referrers. So what we need to do in order to make that happen is go up here to admin. And what we're going to do is we want to create a new view. If we make a change or a filter to our existing view, it's going to filter out data that we cannot recover. If for some reason, it doesn't work correctly or it's filtering out data that we do want included. We want to make sure we do this kind of on a new view so that our, our kind of um, raw data isn't, isn't affected. So we're going to go here to the, the right hand column where it says view and we're going to go to create a new view. And we're going to call this one filter out referral spam and click create view. Now that we're back at the dashboard page here, we can select one of two views. We have all website data, which is our raw unfiltered data. And now this is our view of the data without that referral spam in it. So we're going to select this option and we're going to go in and create a filter. So we're going to go up to the top here and click new filter. And again, we're going to call this filter referral spam. Now under filter type, we're going to go over to custom. And the field that we're going to select is campaign source. Now this filter pattern, there is going to be kind of a bit of code that we're going to put in. and, and Google Analytics wants to know the domain names of the bad referrers, but they want it in a specific way. So below this video, I'm actually going to paste in all of the different bits of code that we'll put in here. But for right now, I'm just going to copy it in here. And then down at the bottom, we're going to click Save. We're actually going to go ahead and create a couple of filters here because that field where I entered in the code has a character limit and there is so much referral spam now, so many different domains that we need to filter out. We need to, it requires us to do a couple of them to get them all in there. So we'll call this and we're going to go in and paste the second bit of code into the filter pattern here and click save. Oops, we've got to select campaign source again. And we're going to do one more. Campaign source and paste the final bit in here. And unfortunately, this is kind of something you'll just have to stay on top of. As additional um, domains and referral spam sources come about, you'll have to go back in and add additional filters into your analytics. But for right now, these are the primary ones that we're aware of as of um, July of 2015. So like I said, I will post the bits of code below that will go into those filter fields. So now the thing you should know about filters is it's only going to update the data from now moving forward. This has no impact on historical data. 
So what we need to go back in and do is create a segment now so that we can segment out this, this traffic from our historical traffic data. So here on this same page, we're going to go down to segments. Up at the top, we're going to select new segment. And we're going to choose advanced conditions. So we're going to click this conditions box. And at the top here, we want to exclude this data. So that's the only option here we're going to change is the, to exclude this data from our analytics report. Under this first drop down here, we're going to go to acquisition and source slash medium. And the second drop down, we're going to select matches regex. And we're going to just copy in that same bit of code that we used for the filter. We're going to do the same thing here for the segments. And make sure when you're adding the additional lines that you're checking the or box because we want it, we want it to filter if it has any of these or any of these or any of these, not the and box. Once we're done, we're going to name this segment. I'll, I'll call this referral spam filtered out and click save. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the home page and you'll see here the, the options that we have. We now have a view for all website data and for filtered out referral spam. And this second option here was the filter. That was the first option that we set up. And like I said, that is for data moving forward. The filters don't work for historical data, so it's not going to have any data for historical information. As we proceed forward, you know, tomorrow or the next day, additional um, data will, be, will display in these fields here. But in order to view the historical data, we're going to go to All Website Data. And up at the top here, we can add in that segment that we just created. So we're going to select Add Segment, and it's a custom segment. So we're going to select Custom and check off the refer, Referral Spam Filtered Out option. And we're going to click Apply. And then what I'll do is I'll drag this option over here, because now that's the most important data that I want to be looking at. I don't necessarily want to see all sessions, um, but this referral spam filtered out now is my primary data of people that are actually visiting the website. Once we're on this page, if we resort the sessions by going from small to large, now we're going to start to see some of these referral spam options that have been zeroed out. So $100 SEO. Without the filter on the, on the page, there were 17 sessions. With this referral spam filtered out, it's down to zero. Same for four webmasters, buttons for website, floating share buttons. You go through here and you, you can see how much traffic was being sent to my site with really irrelevant data. These are not actual people that were visiting my website for a legitimate reason. So we can see now that all of this data has been taken off. And like I said before, this really is a Band-Aid that until Google Analytics can figure out a way to truly filter out this data and not allow these referral spammers to be um, kind of mucking up all of the content in your Google Analytics, we're gonna this is kind of what we're going to have to do. So stay on top of your referrers. Kind of go in on a regular basis and go to acquisition, all traffic, and referrals, and look through there and just make sure that the sources that you're seeing in there are legitimate. Huffington Post, Pinterest, Food Gawker, those are all legitimate traffic sources. But when you get down to something and you're like, what is that website? Number one, don't click the link because it could be leading to a page that has malware on it. And number two, Go into your filters and your segments, add it in there so that data is removed and it's not affecting your bounce rates, your, your page views, your time on page, any of those numbers that could be negatively impacted by people that um, are visiting your site and bouncing right off. So, so I know this one is a little bit longer than most of my uh, usual quick tips, but hopefully that shows you kind of a visual way about how to get rid of this data. If you have any questions, please post them below in the comments field, either on YouTube or on my blog post here. 
And if you have questions about how to implement this or anything else when it comes to your blog, I encourage you to come check out the Blog Genius Mastermind. It's my free Facebook group. You can get access to it by going to ashleyrader.me forward slash group. I'll put a link up on the page here. And a lot of conversations that we have about this sort of thing and questions and all of my other videos get posted there. So it's a great resource. It's free to join. And I welcome you to check that out and also to subscribe to my YouTube channel, ashleyrader.me forward slash TV. All of my videos also get posted there as well. So by subscribing, you get notified when I have a new video out. So I hope you found this useful and I will see you next time.